Hey kids, uh, welcome to another video. This is, uh, <laughs> holy moly, we're on lesson four, module one, and it's the homework. And the objective for this lesson is again at the bottom in super duper tiny letters. Use exponents to denote powers of 10 with application to metric conversions. I literally made the sound, ugh when I saw what lesson it was for today. Sorry, it is just one of those brutal lessons. Now, it's gonna help you if you go watch not only the problem set video, but I made another video about King Henry died unexpectedly drinking chocolate milk. And that is the story of metric conversions. Um, if you have seen those, then you understand what I'm gonna be talking about. And I have made myself a cheat sheet you could make one for yourself if you would like to have it in front of you while we complete this lesson. Um, let's get into it and I'll show you how the cheat sheet can help you. These would be place value columns, just a simple piece of binder paper will do. In your place value chart, when we do metric conversions, we're using place value positions to kind of hop if you think about what we've been doing, we've been doing like a times 10, each digit as it moves into greater place value positions has 10 times the value as the digits in the lower place value positions. Conversely, or the opposite, if you're going to positions to the right, okay, this position has one tenth the value as this one. So if you go to the right, this one has one tenth the value of this, and so on and so forth. So that's gonna help, I can put that up as we complete the homework. But again, please try to know what you're doing. Don't just copy these, have the sound on so that you're listening and learning. The whole purpose of these videos is to learn the material. And the objective is to know how to use the exponents to show the powers of 10 and to convert. So anyway, task one is to convert. Task two is write an equation. Also, kind of a task three, use an exponent. They're telling you to use a meter strip. You probably don't have one. If you're in my class, you will have one. This is a meter strip. It's a full meter long. You can see that when you get to the bottom of the meter, it has 100 centimeters. It says meter because it's a meter stick, but it's 100 centimeters, and therefore it's a thousand millimeters, these little guys here. So it's very fun to have these in my class, but if you are at home and you don't have one, uh, I'll try to show you mine every couple of minutes as needed. It says when it helps you, so it might not help on every problem. Anyway, let's get started. So if you look at the example, they actually want you to put the answer after you've solved it. So we're gonna jump ahead to here and then we'll go back. So we have 108 centimeters to meters. We're gonna convert or change what does 108 centimeters look like in meters as you call it that name. So we're taking, and it's gonna be a process, we're gonna take the number here and copy it. We're taking 108. What are we gonna do? We're gonna use a larger unit of measure, which means we need a smaller number. So we're going to divide. And again, watch the problem set because I go over all this. How do you choose what symbol to use in the problem set? We're gonna to know to divide because we're making fewer of a larger unit. There are more centimeters than meters in the 108 in this particular size. And so this amount we're gonna divide by how many positions? Here's where the cheat sheet comes in. If I'm going from centimeters to meters, then I'm going to be switching two place value positions. That's where I get my 10 squared. If I see that it's two positions, then you know that would be 100, which is equal to 10 squared. We have to use an equation with an exponent, okay? That's why that, instead of 100. When I do this, it's going back to lesson one. We have a whole number, we're dividing it by basically 100, but we're not gonna write that little 100 in there. We're gonna have two positions of a shift, okay? So the decimal would go bloop, bloop, or the digits would shift to the right, making a smaller number. So we would end up with 1.08 meters 
for our final answer, which you can then put over here, 1.08. Okay, so think about this. If we have 108 centimeters, and this is our meter stick, and we have, you know that you're counting all these centimeters all the way up to 100. If I have 108 of these, then I actually have just a little bit more than one meter. So that makes a lot of sense to say that I have actually a little bit more than one meter. One full meter and then eight hundredths of the next meter. It's really easy to see if you have two meters hanging next to each other. Anyway, we can't take that much time for every problem, so we're just going to start going through this a little faster now. Take your first number and copy it, 2.49. Now we're changing from meters to centimeters. We're going from a larger unit to a smaller. That means there's gonna be more of these, which means we're gonna multiply. So how many spaces are we gonna multiply if we're going from meters to centimeters? Again, it's one, two places. Two places means 10 squared. We're gonna have more of these, so we're creating a larger number. One, two makes 249 centimeters. Fill in with what we originally had, 2.49. So you're basically taking this and you copy it, but then you're getting that converted answer. A conversion means you're not changing the value of it. You're not changing it. You're just showing it with a different label. Okay, 50 centimeters to meters. We have 50 centimeters copy it again, 50, but we're changing it to meters. In the same way that I'm going from a small to a large measurement, I will choose division. Notice the pattern that you're creating. Okay, and we're going from centimeters to meters again. Centimeters to meters. That's one, two place value positions of a shift. Nothing secret right here, 10 squared. Take your 50 and move it so that you can see it's two positions smaller. And a lot of kids will say, can I leave it like this? Yes, you can. You can also put the zero here. It doesn't really matter because it's, it's got no value out there to the right. There is nothing but zeros out here, so you can leave the 0.5. 0 0.5 is great for your answer. 6.3 meters, starting out here, 6.3. 6.3. What are we going to do? We're going to change meters to centimeters. That means we're going from a larger unit to a smaller, which means we will have more of them. So we're going to choose multiplication. How many positions are we shifting? We're shifting from the units position, which is the meters, to the centimeters. One, two positions over. Two positions require 10 squared. There's the two. And then when we do that, we're going to have uh, 630 centimeters. Okay, last one, seven centimeters, seven. We're going from centimeters to meters. Same change, we're going from a tiny to a larger. That means it's division. Centimeters to meters. That's two positions. That's where you get your 10 squared. If it's only seven, that's really a tiny amount. And so in changing that to meters, that's gonna be a shift, one, two. So it's only seven hundredths of a meter. And again, in my class, we will have done a lot of work with the actual meter sticks, so it'll kind of make more sense. Okay, in the space below, list the letters of the problems where smaller units are converted to larger units. So you're looking for smaller to larger. So centimeters to meters, that's gonna be here, here, here. The list the letters, you're just listing it, B, D, F, that's all. I know, big space, little answer. Number two, convert using an equation with an exponent. Same thing, use your meter strip when it helps you. Instead of using centimeters with meters, we're gonna be using meters and millimeters. Those are the very tiny little bits on your meter stick, okay? A little tiny millimeter is from 
this black line to this black line. It's the space between there. It's so, so tiny. That's one millimeter, okay? And then you would count and you would say, okay, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 millimeters equals one centimeter. And so when you know these conversions, you're gonna take that and you're gonna use it with larger measurements. Now we're going from millimeters to meters. Now the millimeters are over here, three positions away from the meters. So what do you think your exponent is gonna be when you're changing from meters to millimeters or millimeters to meters? It's gonna be 10 cubed. So that'll be our factor when we write it out over here. Same thing, gonna copy this first number, four meters. Look for the label to show you where you are. I'm at four meters. Copy. We're changing from meters to millimeters. I'm gonna have a whole lot more of those. That means it's multiplication. And our scale factor, the factor we're multiplying with to make the change is gonna be 10 is our base, but three is our exponent. Not like up above, it's three place value position hops, okay? From meters to millimeters, it's a one, two, three. If this is our factor, and you have your four times 10 cubed, this would be like a thousand. So four times a thousand is 4,000. And that's millimeters, that's our new label, and here's where you put your answer, okay? If ever you wanna pause and just go on ahead and see if you can do it, that's a great strategy, and then I'll just finish up and you can check after you do the work. Again, take the 1.7 meters, 1.7, 1.7. This time, well, we're changing from meters to millimeters again, so it's gonna be multiplying, okay? We're not just alternating your thinking. What are we changing? So 1.7 is our first factor that we have to change by what? It's three positions, 10 cubed. That means it's a three position shift and I need to have a larger number when I finish. So if I move this from the ones place to the thousands place, I would end up with 1700 or 1700 millimeters. Keep on trucking, 1050 millimeters to meters, 1,050. This time we're going from a small to a big. It's the opposite direction, so it's the opposite operation. It's still three hops, 10 cubed. But this time we're gonna have a smaller answer and it's one, two, three positions of a shift, 1.050, 1.050. Keep going, 65 millimeters, 65. I'm going from small to big, small to big. Small to big requires division. This is, when I say small to big, I mean a small unit to a large unit. There are fewer of the large units, so I'm creating a smaller number. It's a three position shift, 10 cubed. And so I wanna have my it's, I, some kids will say you're moving the decimal from here, one, two, and then three, hop around the zero. We can still use, and I will, shift the digits to smaller place value positions. Three shifts will give you 0 0.065. 0 0.065 or 65 thousandths of a meter. And again, if you only have 65 millimeters, it's gonna be way less than one meter, so that makes sense. 4.92 meters, 4.92, 4.92. Going from meters to millimeters, gonna have a lot more of those, that's multiplication. Three position shift, they're all three position shifts because it's meters to millimeters or vice versa. That's the 10 cubed. And so we're creating a larger number by three positions. One, two, three, four, nine, two, zero. 4,920. Next one, three, three, three millimeters is so tiny. So how many meters is that? It's way less than one. We're gonna be dividing. So we're going from a whole number to a teeny fraction of a number. And it's gonna be three positions of a shift. So it'd be 
tens, hundreds, thousands. One, two, three. There you go. And then in the space below, list the letters of the problems again where larger are converted to smaller. Larger to smaller, larger to smaller, larger to smaller, A, B, E. Okay, I hope you're getting it. It's kind of that whole pattern thing. It just really develops and you have to kind of catch on. Okay, doing all right here, here we go. Now read each one aloud as you write the equivalent measures. Remember, we're just converting. Write an equation with an exponent you might use to convert. So here is your number. And look at what we're using for our measurements. We've got meters, millimeters, centimeters, meters, millimeters, meters, meters to millimeters and meters to centimeters. So you have to decide what is gonna be your exponent. If it's a two position shift between meters and centimeters, that's gonna be a 10 squared. If it's a three position shift with meters to millimeters, that's gonna be 10 cubed. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Notice when I count, I count when I leave. One, two, three, okay? All right, how about let's take and just put the answer on this line. 2,638, 1,638. Make sure it's a comma, not a decimal. You don't want it to look the same as what you started with because it's not the same. It's been converted uh, by basically 1,000. It's 1,000 times bigger now, okay? Um, we're going to convert with our equation with the exponent, so we'll take our 7. This is your factor, just like this one is, just like we did on the previous page, but there's no blank for it. We're going from a smaller unit to a larger unit, which means we're dividing smaller to larger. What are we going to divide by? How many positions are we shifting when you have centi to milli? I'm sorry, centi to meter. Meter. Woo, my bad. Centi to meter, one, two. That means two. Okay, so it's seven divided, so I'm making it smaller, by two positions. That's a two position shift from the ones. It goes tenths, hundredths, so it will equal seven hundredths. They, they're not labeling it here because we're gonna put it over here with the label, seven hundredths of a meter. Next one, 39 millimeters to meters. We're going from tiny to large. And when you go from small to big, you're gonna divide. How many positions are we shifting? That is gonna determine the exponent. Okay, from milli to meters, that's a one, two, three, 10 cubed. So a three position shift making 39 smaller because division is gonna shift these guys this way. It's gonna go one, two, three. 0 0.039 meters, 39 thousandths of a meter. The next one is eight hundredths of a meter, but we're changing it two millimeters. That's going from a larger one, two, three to a smaller. Here are the millis, here are the meters. So we're gonna take our 0 0.08 and now we're gonna multiply. Okay, so you change the sign when you're going from a bigger to smaller. It's a three position shift, so you use the three. This is going to go one, two, three, and we'll end up with 80 millimeters. Last one, going from meters, well, last one on the top, <laughs> sorry, don't, go, don't get too excited. Last one on the top, meters to centimeters. So we're gonna have more of these. It's a larger to a smaller, not the same factor though, meters here to centimeters, that's a one, two. So take your tiny number, five thousandths. We're gonna multiply by not this, but this two position shift a two position shift 
multiplying is going to make the 5 get bigger equals by two positions, okay? One, two positions with your decimal or shift the 5, one, two positions. Either way, the 5 will be in the tenths place and that's your final answer, okay? Hopefully you're getting that. Now we've got just a few word problems. Keep your cheat sheet handy if you need it to help you convert. Yi Ting's height is 1 and 49 hundredths meters. Express this amount in millimeters. Explain your thinking. Include an equation with an exponent in your explanation. Okay, so we're going to take the 1.49 meters. And we want to show that 1.49 in millimeters. So you're taking a larger Oops, I should have put, let me squeeze that in there. In millimeters. We're taking a larger unit and we're changing it to smaller. Okay? When you take a larger and you change it to smaller, you're going to multiply because you'll have more of these. Look at how many place value positions we're going to pop. Okay? We're going to multiply. It's a three position hop, so use your cubed. We're going to shift the digits to the left to make a bigger number, or think about one, two, three positions to the right. And then that is your 1,490 millimeters is your equivalent amount from meters to millimeters. Okay? We're, uh, we're kind of showing when we include the equation with an exponent that this is changing three times, move three spaces because 10 cubed is equal to 1,000, okay, so that's meters to millimeters, okay, so it's 1,000 times different, and um, we're uh, multiplying, multiply because changing large unit to smaller. Let's say you're going to have more, more of the smaller unit. There are more millimeters uh, in a meter. There are a thousand millimeters in one meter, so it's a thousand to one. Okay, let's do another one. A ladybug's length measures two centimeters. Express this measurement in meters. 2 centimeters equals how many meters? Explain your thinking, blah, 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 blah. Include an exponent. So we're doing the same exact thing, but we're making this conversion. So what do we do? We take our 2. We're going from centimeters to meters. That's only a 2 position shift. Okay, centimeters to meters, 1, 2. I'm changing from big to small. I'm sorry. I'm changing from small to big, so it's division because I have fewer of the larger unit. So it's going to be a two position shift, 10 squared, and it's two centimeters. So that out of a meter, how much is that going to be? It's going to be very small. It's going to end up being only two hundredths of a meter. And when you look at your meter stick again, how many, if this is two centimeters, and it is right here, how many centimeters are in a meter? Blah, 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 wee all the way up to 100. There are 100 centimeters in one meter. So if I only have two centimeters, yeah, that makes sense. It's only two one hundredths of one meter. Okay? Um, explain your thinking. Uh, so we're going to have a two, uh, two position shift. Okay, that's going to equal the 10 squared. And you're going to divide because changing small to large. And then you can call that the unit, the unit that we're measuring. Okay, we're using a unit of measure. And finally, the length of a sticky note. Oh, by the way, click subscribe, come back. I'm gonna be doing a lot of homework videos this year and I already have a lot of problems set videos. I think they're pretty helpful. So I hope you find them helpful too. Anyway. 
Back to it. The length of a sticky note measures 77 millimeters. I wonder if that's true. How big is that? 77 millimeters. I have sticky notes right here. 77. Ooh, look at that. So, this is millimeters. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Mine's like 75. Pretty close. Not gonna lie, this is a real question. Okay, the length of a sticky note measures 77 millimeters. Express this length in meters. So what is the same amount of a sticky note if I had to label it in meters? 77 millimeters equals how many meters? Explain your thinking, blah, 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 equation, exponent. Okay, so we're doing changing from tiny to larger, which means we're gonna have fewer of these meters so take your 77, we're gonna divide that, what is a large number, we're gonna make it smaller. By how many positions, it's changing by three, so that's 10 cubed. And then we're gonna have a three position shift. One, two, and hop around. So you end up with, remember, that's true because there are a thousand millimeters in a meter, so if I only have 77 millimeters, not even close to a thousand, so I have 77 thousandths of a meter. And that's kind of how you do these. I know, I told you it'd be a bear, isn't it? It's just awful. But uh, hopefully you're experts at this and converting. If you wanted to explain your thinking, you could say three position shift, because we're changing from millimeters to meters, 10 cubed, and oh, I didn't even write it over here. Keep me on track, somebody. There you go. And um, we're going to divide because it's going from a small to large unit. Small to large unit. All my abbreviations, making it fast, all right. I hope this is helpful. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye for now.